Yeah. Hello guys, welcome to this little this Ubisoft oh, no. conference. What? Starts it's soon. Oh man, no, no, this is this is not a thing, guys. Listen. Finally, that's crap. Here we go. Here we go. More cringy bastards. More cringe. I wish I was in the theater. You what we have today, and I can promise you it's more interesting than a keychain. Oh. Too soon, maybe? Too soon? I don't know. Up in the balcony, are you guys ready? Yes! Down on the main floor, are you guys ready? Let's go, players! Oh, what is this terrible right, thing? Everybody, everybody at home, are you ready? Yes, yes. yes. We're just going to assume that they're ready. <laughs> If you're ready for the biggest gaming, uh, biggest Big show, show in gaming, then let's oh, start the God show. Let's do it! Let's do it! And they're up. Here we go again. What's the first game up? Joking. Damn it. Ubisoft cringe. The fuck is this? the hell is this rubbish? What is this crazy shit? This is crazy whatever this is. Hell is this? I have no idea what this is. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Put some sunglasses on. Cool. The hell is this rubbish? Oh, it's just dance, probably. Who cares about that? The fuck is this? You're watching. Why is it with me? Just some people.
Oh, come on. Oh. What the fuck is this thing? Yo, this is just done. This is so goes on forever. <laughs> Sounds like you're in the bathroom, though. I'm on the iPad version. What's the first game they're going to show then? Other than that crap. That was shit, whatever that was. That was really shit. Skull and Bones. <laughs> Hopefully it's Skull and Bones or something. You're not going to see that till next year now. It's like some space game, this. Oh man. Well, maybe not, I'm ahead of you again, I think. <laughs> I'm, I'm, in, I'm on the space bit. No, I'm on the space bit. I'm on the ice now. <sighs> this must be um, Beyond Good and Evil, maybe. I don't know. Beyond Good and Evil 2. Oh, that one. It is Beyond Good and Evil, there's the pig. The copy pig. The copy. No, the copy. Hey. Well, Cockney piggy. What you mean? Our food is healthy. Mm, <coughs> Again, that's yet to still come out. Captain to crew. Look, dead monkey in the looks pretty good, though. I repeat, monkey down. No gameplay again. Unless you see some of the controller, perhaps, but... Yeah, perhaps. But... This is a kind of a CGI show, isn't it? Yeah. It is at the moment, yeah. Yeah, it's not the CGI show. Hmm? Hmm. 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 What? What? Engineering to officers, we are dead in the water. I repeat. Some You're on the moi player. We are dead in the water. When do people don't talk like that, do they? <laughs> in that kind of Cockney accent. Cockney accent, bruv. Sounds a bit like fucking Danny Dyer, don't it? Like proper like that sort of in like London. He's stained accent. Yeah. There's some sort of um, massive eruption. Oh god. They're all dead. Oh. Lovely little picture. The pig's family. Pirates. Space pirates. Oh, that's one big ship. It's space pirates, I think. Yeah, that seems to be the one. The quality CGI trailer, though, isn't it? The CGI trailer is the best I've seen. Yeah, it's just um, I want to see gameplay though. That's probably what you. I know, I know Square Enix had a shit conference, didn't they? Yeah, it was like oh, it's half an hour long. I, I haven't watched it, but so I hear it was terrible. It was rubbish. I watched it. But. Beyond Good and Evil 2. I mean, I'm going to be able to do it. Thank you. Hi. Thank you. Hello, I'm 
Gabrielle Schrager, narrative director. It's always at the bike when you're here. Is it Ubisoft or Ubisoft? We are so happy oh, it's a Ubisoft. to be back this year to well, share our progress. I always, call, I always call it Ubisoft. But being their French, I bet it's called Ubi because they can't. They, that's how French people are. You mean that, that's their lingo, isn't it? Ubisoft. Yeah, I would say they call it Ubi. Yeah. They call it Ubi. We call it. Oh, no. We call it UB, but they call it, American, UB. Like call it Ubisoft. 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 No, 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 Ubisoft. It's French. The Kini has since gone missing. Shani is now captain of the Gather, and she's leading her crew into the deep, unexplored space beyond System 3, when they come face to face with their nemesis. Overwhelmingly. I mean, they have some Fans will uh, have recognized a ferocious Ubisoft. young Jade. Uh, well, it's an English one, but predominantly it's a French content. <laughs> Jade. And pages back her name. as the incorrigible chief cook of the Gata. She's got a name. We've got two other officers, Uma, the, the holistic chief medic, Uma. and Callum, okay. our chief engineer. And all of these legendary characters will be playing a major role our in our prequel. Today, we are proud to represent our growing production team in Montpellier, Barcelona, Bordeaux, and Sofia. Thanks, everyone. Probably have Eve's dinner morning come out later. He always comes out. Thanks, Thanks for making that happen. We'll see some gameplay. <laughs> I never see anything for that one yet, man. In, B in, B in BG2, you are a space pirate captain. Time. You can see in pictures and concept galaxy, art, but that's it. Near the end of the 24th that's always quite worrying when you don't see no gameplay, though. How's <laughs> this, this game been developed since 2005? Some behind closed some doors crazy. Something quite something a while. long time in that. At our major because location, it's coming in, we are, and then people it's not going to happen, then they say it's on track. Yeah, they kept, last year. They kept saying it was going to come in, but... Oh, pre-alpha gameplay, here we go. Let's take a look. Pre-alpha gameplay. Wasn't it pre-alpha before they last you some? <sighs> I don't know if it was pre-alpha, I think it was, but pre-alpha pre is really early on then. But it's also a darker underworld. Rife with dirty bars. It's still pre alpha at this stage, that's quite worrying. Have a look. We have a closer look as opposed to going on screen on screen. That you can play alone or with your friends. Is it possible for you Ubisoft? Can we zoom in a bit? Well, probably because it doesn't look quite great. <laughs> it's pre alpha. Oh, well, some fine on the ground and in space at a massively different scale. And all of this screen on screen. Seamlessly. <laughs> what you will be seeing at E3 this year is only a very small that's quite, part of a much larger open universe. It's quite worrying that it's only still only pre alpha at this stage. Yeah, it's probably a massive game though. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a big game. With Beyond Grenade, we didn't see any of that. Not really? Didn't make it in full screen. Didn't make it into. They didn't, they didn't go to full screen. That, that was bad. We want our fans and people all over the world. I could do something better than that. Take a switch. The game. So today, we are it's always going to be quite worrying though, and it's like I said, it's still pre-alpha at this stage. I mean, this should be out of pre-alpha by now, I would think. Yeah, it's like it's, it is Ubisoft at the end of the day. It's like they're not a shit. They're not a small company. They're not. And there is no, I mean, literally a, a universe of ways for artists to express themselves. Just a big game, I think. From giant frescoes to murals, street art, music, this is a big game. video content, and much more. But I think the point that Voss is trying to make this, is it's been a long, a long, a long time in development, and they're still in the very early stages. Which is... they're, still, they're not. They, you, you would think, like, like Simon did, like I said to Simon, that it should be in beta stage. It should easily be beta now. What would you put in the game? A big dick or something? That's exactly what I exactly what I was gonna put. Big Someone dick, here comes the here comes the daddy. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the actor of some sort. Thanks, thanks you guys, thanks to you. And did come up a minute ago. Um, I'm super excited. He's the reason he's the reason it took so long. Um hit record is this thing that I've been making for a long, long time. It's really dear to me. And uh, it's a place where people oh, Gordon, yeah. Jordan. work together. Gordon is his name. Films or music or art, all kinds of projects. This is the first time we're making stuff that's going to go to be the voice of really cool. um, See, Ubisoft do so have a, a little a bit good, different than other um, like, creative platforms uh, uh, that you can find on the, the internet. With the point of the record to get into that isn't just to post. So well, hang on a minute, guys. Yeah. That you've made on your own. The well, point well, well, is to collaborate. Huh? So, we like, when we're making music, got to a little one out. Oh. It's not yeah. just going to be a thing like a contest where people submit songs and then we pick one or two of them and we put them in the game. We're going to be really making the songs together, and the same goes for the visual assets that will be. Created. Oh no! So, don't want to come out full screen. Writer, 
uh, a musician, an illustrator, if you're a pro-level artist, or if you're just someone who really cares about Beyond Good and Evil and that <laughs> world, and you love it, and you want to be able to find ways yeah. for you to contribute. Um, uh, our first creative oh, same. challenges are live as of like now. Someone's at my office pushing the. I always watch everything on Twitch. <laughs> you guys are doing great. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so come to our site, check out the Beyond Good and Evil 2 page at hitrecord.org, and um, that's it. Go do that shit. Thanks. Go do that shit. Go do it. Do it now. Hit Record's approach to collaboration is inspiring, and we're incredibly happy to be working with Joseph and his team. And we really can't wait to see what the community creates, so let's do it. We will be showcasing some of this content at our very first dedicated community event, the BG Fest, which will take place in Montpellier this fall. BG Fest? What's up? E3. Thank you! <laughs> Imagine being in that theater. It's quite a small theater. Yeah. Rainbow Six Siege? They're always updating this. Always. We've got two new operators. What's up, everyone? My name is Justin Kruger, community developer on Rainbow Six Siege. And I'm here today to talk about our community. Our community that inspires This is a game I've been playing loads lately. Every single day. The Siege team back in Montreal has actually been uh, so inspired stuff the by seeing flesh. all of the millions of people playing our game every single day uh, over the past two and a half years. We've actually absolutely loved seeing our community grow, and I'm excited yeah, there is, to they get banned now. that the Rainbow Six Siege community is now oh, 35 yeah, you, million you players. Report them. 35 million people play this game. Thank you. I wish I could hug every single one of you. Oh, I'm back. Alright. Uh, that would take a long time. Miss anything, did I? Not really, just uh, siege or something. The community grows, so does the game. And as you actually give a date of it at all or not? No. Not yet. No, yeah. That's going to be canned then, isn't it? We'll go next gen. 10 seasons, 40 operators, and 19 maps. It is all free. They like next gen, don't they? And if you want to get to know all of these guys a little <laughs> yeah. bit better, it's, it's going to be very unlikely it's going to come this gen, I would imagine. It's right in pre alpha, they've got no idea when it's coming out. In action at the top of their game, tune into the Rainbow Six Siege Pro League, kicking off on June 18th. That's what you so probably use off. They, put, they have too many games under development at the same time. Will be competing for six months True. of but, uh, also the same. They're quite a big studio, so they can do that. Yeah, but when you do that, you split your resources down, don't you? They're one of the biggest studios, I know that. So. Our Pro League finals will then take us to Brazil in November. Yeah, Brazil. but they're one of the worst. The they've got one of the worst track records of their games, looking completely different to when they actually come out. Yeah. Six. Taking place in Montreal in February 2019. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't they put this at the end of the show, honestly? Rainbow Six has been out how long? <laughs> it's got really popular lately. So. Yeah, it's really popular. And with the growth it's because they fixed the most of the problems people had with it. So. It's, a good, it's a good game, don't get me wrong, it's a good game, but it's like, oh really? <laughs> I haven't played it for ages. I play it all, all the time now. <laughs> That is focused on a few familiar faces who took their love for Siege to the next level. Without further ado, these people would become Twitch streamers. Another I guess. Where are you, so where are you, Andy? I want to see you on it, man. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, I don't think I'll be this popular. <laughs> I ain't mean, uh, do it as a hobby. This is this is this is where. Um, this is where Microsoft went wrong years ago when they did documentaries. Ubisoft are doing it now. These are like eSport documentaries. I would never be part of an eSports team. <laughs> but you would if you got paid the money they get paid. Well, how much do they get? A lot, do they? They get paid a lot of 
Oh, a lot of money. If they, if they, if they win the tournaments as well, they get paid shitloads. You have to really put all your emotions dentro do jogo. There's a lot, there's a big pool of money on most of those esports yeah. tournaments. Don't care about documentary about it. Don't really care about it, to be honest. I mean, either. Full release. I don't really want to see the full. Really? We're not. We're advertising like. A film. Films now, yeah. Glorified films. We'll learn yeah. more about Siege now. Hard. Oh, yeah. The fuck are you. What is this? Green. How's this shit? <laughs> oh, it's trials. Oh, is it really trials? They bring in trials too. Ain't good that game. It is trials, yeah. He's got a thing on the back of his. Oh man. <sighs> I just been in the audience. So what? Trials Fusion's actually not too bad, is it? What? Trials Fusion wasn't too bad. No. Pretty cool. Did he just break the stage? Oh my god. There's nothing in it. That was totally meant to happen, wasn't it? Yeah, there was it was made if it, they wouldn't break that easy. Royals is all about grassing with style and getting up again. Hello! I'm until we saw creative director of trial. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, okay. He's a director of rising. Now I'm pleased to announce the trial is back and it's bigger than ever. Cool man. I am the director of trials. Some of the tracks on trials are so fucking hard though. It's a quality game though, it is fun. But it's, it's, it's kind of cool because you've got those user created tracks which kind of add a lot of jimmy to the game. Yeah, that would be good, but... That's good. If anybody don't fix it. Exactly. It obviously sells. It's obviously sold enough for a sequel. Yeah. It has to. To make, to make the money. I'm currently playing it on PlayStation because it's free in it. PlayStation Plus. Oh yeah, and um, XCOM or something. Man, I wish I was. I wish I was that good at it, though. I was, can't even. I'm rubbish at it. So. It's practice, though, isn't it? He don't. Sorry about that. Oh. It's all taped together. Trials Rising takes you around the world to iconic locations. You never plan, ride clearly. alone and competition it was planned. is everywhere. Yeah. But competition is nothing without the players and our community has always been pillar of trials. In Trials Rising we I work think. with our players more than ever. To explain more, let me introduce Brad Hill, also known rising. as Professor Fat Shady. It's Trials Rising. He's probably, probably going to say it's out right now at the end of it. Yeah. You made a mess. <laughs> well, thank you, Auntie. I don't know who he is. No. Professional. Brad Hill. Professional, professional fat shady. What's that mean? Professional fat shady. <laughs> Was real slim shady? Please turn up. <laughs> it's the overweight version. The overweight version. The beard. So in 2013, I created the University of Trials, 
bit like me, isn't it? channel dedicated to mastering trial oh, fighting. Right, now, right, before I go on, Ubisoft star players, I want you guys to make some big noise right now. <laughs> All right. Well, five years ago, I was a star no, player just, just like them. But when Red Links began work when Trials Rising, they approached me to design and create all of the tutorial content within the game. It has been an amazing experience for me, but I wasn't the only one involved. <clears throat> 20 community members, known as the Trials probably, Elite, yeah, there, it, I have been involved in the development of this game for the last two years. It's probably like really close Whether to release, because it's not like a game you're gonna be in development for a long time, is it? No. something special to help shape this game. Now, if you want to get involved, register online at trialsgame.com for a closed beta. Happy closed beta? Trialsgame.com, there you go. Well, you could play it for free, if you want. Let's go. Hey, Come hey, on, Simon, you're going to register. Hey, you don't, you're <laughs> not going to put a big coming soon up here. I think people are going to want another release date. Yes. It's tomorrow. Right. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> February 2019 on PlayStation 4. Xbox One, PC, and the first time ever February also in the Switch. 2019, for that long to make a game like that, are you kidding? 2019? Yeah. Honestly, like, the game's like, the game is, can't be difficult to How many games surely. are coming out in February? You need to change these teasers. And we saw what Trials is about. Crashing with style and getting up again. I don't understand why they all bring them out in February. What is the deal? Everyone bringing it out in February. I don't know, you need to change the dates. Yeah. February was just that's gonna not sell high because there's other ones coming. The big ones coming in February. Exactly, there's loads of games in February. Many. There's tons. Maybe. Yeah, but they probably don't realise. To be honest, they probably don't know they're all coming out in February until they're obviously until we hear the announcements like they do. So they're probably thinking, holy shit. Do you know what I mean? They're probably thinking, crap. We should not have gone for February. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they obviously don't know either, do they? Let's be fair. They don't know. They don't no, know what's just... going on, do they? So. No. Oh shit. They only, know, they, only, they only know about their own game, don't they? It's probably just the same like Go for February. Listen, that's a great month. Go for February. Go for February. Go for February. But the thing is, though... That beat. I would have thought this would have been out sooner rather than later, to be honest. I mean, it's not exactly a... It's not a difficult game to make, I should think. No, fuck it. I mean, coding does not shit. Coding takes time. It looks better than the first one, though. <laughs> How many times do you want to get taken out? Millions. There's nothing better than adding classical music to those kind of games. It would make it sound better. Trials Fusion. It's on Switch. I should. People buy on it's Switch. All, you're all over that, Simon, aren't you? People buy on Switch. <laughs> yeah, we'll buy on Switch. Division 2. Yeah. Oh mate, your jacket's far too tight, dude. Yeah, what's up with his trousers? They're massive. My name is Julian Garrity, and I'm the creative director on Tom Clancy's The Division. It is a bit too tight on him. <laughs> Just a bit. It's a bit short, isn't it? On Black it Friday, it's short. I think it's a, a style strain of bizarre manner. Smallpox the virus was released on dollar bills in New Black. York City. Black flag. Black. Infection and chaos spread across the nation. What's up? Seven months later, Blah. Blah. the virus has mostly Blah. burnt itself out, but America is tearing itself apart. Well, we're signing up for that, so Washington we don't do more of that crap for that. Yeah, I got the email to say thanks for signing up, so... Threat from yeah, whenever the bait is. Civilians are trying yeah. to... Yeah. Every, every, it's, everyone will get into it, though. Every, they, of course they I remember will. getting into the last one. Everyone got into it. It's not like a... It's not hard. It's very rare these days you don't get into a beta. They they do genuinely hand them out, don't they? Quite, they hand them quite well. Sweets. Yeah, years ago you used to have to really register quick, but now it's sort of like they give them out to everyone. And you even get when you get a, when you get an email to send your code, they even give enough like codes for your friends as well. Yeah, like I sent you one for the crew or something. Yeah, you sent me for crew, didn't you? Yeah. That was just yeah. Ubisoft's way is a bit bizarre. Thing. You have to you have to be on that. You said you already registered, is what you were. Yep. 
Please say this is better than the first one, though. Like where everyone takes spun the bullet sponge. Oh, uh, I don't mind it. I don't mind the sponginess, but I just the, the more bit that let me down was the dead zone bit. It's just I didn't like the multiplayer area of it. It was just bizarre. Everyone just waited at the, everyone just waited at those doors. You know when you enter the dead zone, as soon as you spawn in, people just kill you. Yeah, the hackers would like teleport around the map. Because you just wait at the door where people come in. There's only a few entrances you come in. On PC, everyone would teleport oh, around the map. First, yeah. First one. Like I said, hopefully this one performs like is a lot better than the last. It looked good yesterday on the bit we see. I think how realistic it is here. That's nothing like the game. It's <laughs> no, the CGI trailer. That's what people say. CGI it's like that, look, that looks fantastic. Now that looks awesome. But then when it comes out, it will be so wish washy, probably. The only games that I know that do this that look like that are Sony's PlayStation exclusive games. I like The Last of Us or something. Yeah, like Last of Us, that actually looks like the CGI trailers. Mate, that's in ruins. Look at that lot. This stinks. <laughs> it's a disease ridden alleyway. Smallpox, isn't it? But. Mm. Some, some virus on dollar bills. Yeah. No. Keep moving. I didn't do anything. That makes. That is a real disease, smallpox, but we eradicated it, didn't we, basically? <sighs> yeah. Some sort of gang. Hopefully, see some gameplay again. It's darker than the first one. Promoting this sale. Yeah, the. Just hope for, we'll see how the closed beta runs, I guess. He always watches that glow orange. I wonder how big the world's going to be as well. Is it going to be the whole of Washington? Or is it just like a portion of? Or Got a release date? No. It's February, isn't it? Oh, yeah. yeah. They announced that yesterday, February. Oh, yeah. <laughs> again, again, another February. You, you haven't got a CFP release, you just guess it's February now. All the games. <laughs> Everything's <laughs> February. <laughs> Round Valentine's Day, you know. If you fail, history will be written by tyrants. If you succeed, history will remember the few brave heroes who fought to save. A dying nation. This setting lays the groundwork for a compelling story based campaign in which your actions have a clear impact on the lives of civilians. Lovely. In the Division 2, Washington, D.C. must prepare for the greatest threat it has ever encountered. To face it, you oh, and your fellow agents will need to bring your equipment and tactical abilities to the next level. Once agents reach the end of the main campaign, it's time to select a new progression path by picking a specialization. It starts with the choice of a signature weapon, powerful and unique weapons that complement the rest of your equipment. As you progress with your specializations, you will not only grow in power. That's me, mate. 50 cal sniper rifle. 50 cal's like my favourite. Yeah. yeah, it's me too. Oh, dude. Simon's gone. Left us. Left us. <laughs> he doesn't like. We're all on our own. Nah, he'll be back. Yeah, he'll be back in a sec. Probably, I would have reckoned so. Probably Saturn. He probably dropped out. Speaking of teamwork, I'm excited to announce that for the first time.
Eight players will be able to partner up to face the ultimate Eight players. Game eight people? When it like right. fall off time. Eight people. Yeah. Raids, you could do eight players. Eight player now, eight player raids. So that's cool. Simon's still there. We learned a lot. We learned a lot. Still on the app. On the first Let me try and invite him back. With the Division 2, we're launching with plans for years of frequent major right. content updates. You Today, we're ready to outline our plans for year one. Oh, you're the leader. We're launching right. three DLCs in the form of episodes. Oh, Each one I re -invite him? will bring new story, new I just tried to, to. and new activities. I'll invite him. I'll we'll send him. You guys send him an invite again. All of these episodes will be completely free for everyone. I've re invited him. Uh, there's no paid DLC. Oh, I like how they do that and start doing that now, aren't they? That's how it should be. Where's my division team? There's my division team. <laughs> Stay tuned after the Ubisoft conference for an exclusive 30 minute deep dive into our playable E3 demo. Oh, if you're there, you could play it, dumb As it. you can see, they're getting ready right now and they'll be playing right after the conference is done. Oh, wicked. We can stay on the Ubisoft stream. You better watch it, dude. Until then, remember. Yeah, I'm on the Twitch one. This oh. is history's defining moment. Hope for the future lies in you, agents of Let's the come back. Thank you. Coming back? No, I don't know if he's coming back or not. I don't know, I sent him an invite. Sign up for the beta now. Or comes up with like a little things on Twitch. You've done it, yeah? You signed yeah, up for yeah. it, didn't you? Yeah. Another CGI trailer, I think. I hope he's got cross-play with PC players. The only way that works is on the Windows Store, I think. It's weird, man. You need to get yourself a console, Andy, so you can join us. What's Simon doing? Mess my Facebook <laughs> shit. Do you think of Fallout, Andy? Um, the name. Looked alright. Looked awesome, man. You got multiplayer in it now. Like you can actually team up with people. Yeah, it's just I like. It's totally online though. So. Like none of it's. You still do single player. You can still go through the world on your own. Yeah, if you want to. It's best. I have the rabbits. You can actually nuke people. Rabbits. The rabbits, yeah, something to do with Rain Man rabbits. Oh, he's gone offline now. His last minute uh, Xbox app, he's disappeared offline. Oh. So I don't know whether he's having problems he's in, probably. Maybe he's launching. Oh, we'll, just, we'll just sit tight. He's on tablet, though. So probably wife. Yeah, he's probably got drop drop a connection or something. I'm Xavier Manzanares, lead producer. And it's an honor to be back here one year after we announced for the first time. Oh, I'll play away. some trolls later, actually. It was incredible. So, as a team, I just wanted to thank all of you for the support and all the feedbacks we received. Thank you. Yeah, the Square Enix one was a crap, crap uh, conference, weren't it? So I hear. Yeah, it was only 30 minutes. Oh really? Yeah. So I thought it was like the, I thought it was the intro really to the main conference and, and then it just ended. Well. One that we cherish and we love. They didn't really announce anything either, did they? I so Tomb Raider and um. Uh, we wanted to. Uh, they did announce a few games, but 
Not many. I think they're ones that people, people already knew about, weren't they? People really wanted to see... I wanted to see Final Fantasy VII. Do you know what? Last like, yesterday, I was so impressed with um, Microsoft's conference. So impressed with it. Thank you. It was so good. Their conference. Yeah, so one. It's better than the EA's one. Wait, it's been the best conference so far, by far. I don't know about Sony's, but I'll try and watch it. I'll watch it tomorrow. We're well, not all of it. I'll look at the highlights, but I think I think Sony going to struggle to beat them this year, actually, like, in terms of conference, because they announced a lot of games, didn't they? Fifty games in total. Time is trying to get back in. Trying to get back in. Maybe he's just not working. He's not missing much because this is rubbish anyway. Oh. Hang on. Although Hayden might like this, my little boy like this. I would say you just do Discord, but you don't have it. Left high? What? Ah, oh, he's, he's, left, he's left me, uh, sent me an invite to join his one. Alright. Oh. I'll join his one now. Hello. Oh, there we go. It crashed on you, did it? I oh, fuck knows what happened, really, man. Okay. When let you connect again, though. There you go. No, when I'm Oh. It does do that sometimes. <clears throat> yeah, the absolute road would should cool. Are we doing some cheesy stuff? Yeah, it's just... We are, we're seeing the Mario Rabbids, just music crap. The Donkey Kong. Yeah, that's right. This will be over in a minute anyway, the Ubisoft is probably only about an hour, I reckon. Is it? Well, I reckon so, they haven't got, a, they, I wouldn't imagine they've got an awful lot to show, because they were like, on the Division one, if you stay behind afterwards, they're getting ready to show half an hour of yeah, the game or something. Or something. And they were, they, they were getting ready to do it, play it like there and then, so oh, I couldn't know. imagine it's going to be that long. Could be wrong, but I mean, what else are they going to announce? What we? Oh no, we've got oh, we've got Assassin's Creed, haven't we? But we know about that. I think the big probably spoiler or surprise probably Splinter Cell. Yeah, if it comes. If it comes. I'd love Splinter Cell. Or will it be Michael Ironside? Will they get them back? That's probably like my favourite. That's probably like my favourite Ubisoft game of all time. So. Oh, there's rabbits. No. <laughs> no, it's going to say. Rabbits. Well, I, reckon ha I, I reckon Hayden didn't like this. <laughs> What's this going on for? I don't know. Too long. No, not the problem. I mean, this, this segment. It's kind of yeah, stupid because it's not really announcing anything new, is it? Oh, is it just an expansion for the game? Yeah, Donkey Kong Adventure. Ooh, they could have just... Could they not have just told us that without having all that drama? It's DLC. It's, you can make a big enough of DLC. Make it, yeah, it's just DLC. All these women. Well done. Apparently, the, the violinist over to the... To the left, or her right, yeah. the one there. She's part of Hard Zimmer's um, orchestra set. How did you know that? Really? Is that is that Mick Hutton's love child? <laughs> what it come out? Yeah, how do I know that? Yeah. Well, um, that's what's going around on Twitter. On Twit or Twitter, whatever. Twitter. Get on with it. I don't care about this. Probably half the chi probably half people are like Mick Hutton's love children. He's 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 had so many women. Has he? <laughs> I don't know who he is, but... <laughs> I don't know who he is! Is he a footballer? Who's this? No! Uh, oh. He doesn't know, know who Mick Hucknall is, Simon Phillip. Mick Oh, fuck me. And you, you've heard of Simply Red? Oh, yeah, yeah, Simply Red, yeah. What, the lead yeah, singer? So you know who Mick Hucknall is. Is he the lead yes. singer? 
Okay. He is. Simply red standing by. <laughs> you, can't <miss> him. <laughs> you can't. You can't miss. You can't miss those. That 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 bloody ginger Norbert's hair, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is skull and bones. Is it? Yeah. Long live piracy. There you go, Andy. Go and download some shit. Could download it. As fate would have it. No, when is the? Because the there's supposed to be a beta for this, isn't there? Yes, yeah, I know. There's supposed to be, yeah. It's not, it's not coming to 2019. We all signed up last year. A year ago today. Oh, joke, man. This better be better than yeah. um, Sea of Thieves. It's different to see. It's going to be. Sea of Thieves is all about treasure. This is about combat. Oh, this is all about combat. This is all about hunting. Yeah, That's Sea of Thieves is a bit. Sea of Thieves is treasure and combat. This is purely, purely combat. You won't be going to Ireland to get treasure on this one. And docking yeah. ships. Well, it looks like there's treasure they've, they've got from other ships. Yeah, that's CGI, but I mean, you're not, you're not going to be going off an island to dock and like seek for treasure. That's just not going to be part of this game. You're just domineering the sea. Yeah, you work in a, in a group of players and, yeah. That's what it'll be. It'll just be purely like combat only. With unique weapon moments. Yeah. But it'll be more realistic. Like, whereas CFP is kind of very cartoony like, it's going to be more realistic. Yeah, it'll be like um. Again, this game. But like Assassin's my Creed, this game is going to be in develop. It's going to be in development too long because they always do that. Ubisoft they over polish a game and then the multiplayer doesn't work. And it's like oh, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Got massive ships. Yeah, big ships. Hunting. That's what I wanted in Sea of Thieves because so they didn't have bigger ships like that. They got galleons, the biggest you can get in there. Yeah, galleon. Yeah. Skullabone. The B is going to launch this week or next week, so we can at least have a quick dip in it. Skullabone. This week. They're greedy trading companies. What? And of course, you may never know. Could do, couldn't they? You never know. Why, why couldn't they? But there are no heroes. It's obviously cold indoors. Oh, he's gotham. And for the past year, my team and I have been able to that or he's trying to play Nathan Drake. Our fans to join the hunt. Ubisoft Singapore. So they got Piracy is dead Singapore. in the Caribbean. The Empire is Ubisoft Singapore. Yeah. New one, is it? Yeah, it's cheap it's cheap it's cheap labour, isn't it? The Indian Ocean, home to the cheap labour. <laughs> <laughs> Where merchant ships carry cargo like Primark. $10 billion dollars a year. <laughs> and you, uh, you're gonna steal every last fucking coin. Piracy is dead. Mate, he, he's going to town on it. On a heavily guarded frigate, fat with African diamonds, meant for the Grand Mogul. More like it. This is what see if he should have been like. Like, will help you claw your way to the top <laughs> to become the pirate that no empire can take. See if he's going to be. See if he's always Second, you meant to be feed, like user friendly in it. Yeah, reactive, this is just full, full on world is battles. In what we it, call this is going to be like hardcore kind of battles. Of yeah. Whereas see if he's meant for like all age groups. And the trade routes yeah, this is not. This is more for the mature player. Today, Taljid reveals favorable winds. Not for children. That means more They're gonna lock you in the bloody brig. But also, more competition. And now I'm proud to share with you. And you command a ship on your own as well on this one. You a actually have a whole. You actually do a galleon each or whatever you're doing. Will you fight? We could do above people though. Allies? This is what we yeah, you do, but you all have your own ships, by looks of things. All right, pirates. Um, you ally with other people. So. And have a great E3. Okay, nothing about a starting a beta now, then. No. no. In your hideout, deep within the Chagos Islands. Whoa. This gameplay. This hidden pirate den provides everything you need. For next if it is, it would nothing like this. This, this is not gameplay. This looks like gameplay. Yeah, cutscene. It's a cutscene. Cutscene, Andy. Giving his battering ram a devastating punch. You know, you know when it's gameplay because they they all. Can't imagine it being game. That's gameplay. This is gameplay. This that. Demi cannon just. Yeah, it goes from cutscene to gameplay. No. Oh. Rockets are blazing fast. Oh my god! Really? Gonna go for fucking cannon after? Oh my god! 
Oh my god, you can really customize your ship, can't you? Yeah, there's gonna be a big problem with this. Well, a problem in the sense that people are gonna start complaining. Oh, what's that famous word? Pay oh, loot to boxes. Oh, yeah. pay, to, pay to win. Pay to win. So, if you buy, buy cannons with more money, your intel, the convoy hopefully, there's no in game. Hopefully, hopefully, you can only in game currency. No, no putting your real money into it. That that will wreck it. See, that, it does look realistic, like though. Look how realistic it looks. It's pretty good. Before the convoy like slips away. On this gameplay. The water's quite good. I still say, though, the water in CFD is better than that. Deception is another tool in the pirate's See if he's got that water. Yeah. Way better water, see if he's. Yeah. Disguised as a that looks too, like, you try too to clean, that water. Yeah, <laughs> too clean. Like, you know what I mean? Not, 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 I don't mean clean as in, like, kind of that type, but it's just even the waves don't even seem to have crests on them or anything. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But again, it's probably early build, so who knows? Yes, this is early build. This island valley. You can get little sloops there as well. Oh, big ships and small ships. You see, you've got level 14 ships, they're all different levels, so you've level 14 ships are level 16. And level 15 over there. Yeah, There's loads of people on this money. ship. Can you imagine? We've got different levels. It's going to be real, it's, it's a very strategy game, this isn't going to be for like the, the you know, just, just to run in and play, this isn't going to be for real strategy. That's, that's. It's about flanking the ships and stuff. That ship went down really fast. Jesus, man. Du, 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 du. I don't know. I'm not. I haven't got high hopes for this game. If I'm being honest. No. No. You're not feeling it. Uh, it looks good, don't get me wrong, it looks good. And I bet it'll probably be okay, but I can't say it's gonna be amazing. It's all it's all cutscene stuff, man. When you board, it's all cutscene stuff. What's that all about? I'm definitely you wanna try the beta out there. Like Yeah, the beta, yeah, absolutely, but this Ubisoft game, they never look like this. <laughs> no, they never do. Never. The Ubisoft are one of the worst for it. They always do all their games. What, hype them up? Yeah, hype, I remember Watch Dogs. I was so hyped for the first Watch Dogs. And then when it came it out, great. Yeah. And then they came, it came out. It was the worst, probably one of the worst games I've ever played, the first one. So broken. You could lose your loot. You need help. And you need it fast. There comes your friends that invite to crew. You can have a group of ships. Yeah, so we could like go around together, yeah. You're going to be stronger in a, in a group. Your side so. forms a tight squadron using a coordinated battle plan. Battle plan. Oh, this, this thing got a cringy like, voiceover, people like, you move in here. The first ship goes down, breaking your formation. Breaking the formation. Breaking the line. So if you can adjust all your sails stuff, I guess you must be able to. The Commodore turns his cannons on you. You raise your fire, absorbing the first blow. Your allies maneuver for position. The Royal Fortune acts as a tank, drawing the Commodore's fire. It unleashes its special ability, Siege Mode. Siege Mode. It can fire its cannons without limits. The Jaeger slips into position. Jaeger. Jaeger bomb. Its special ability delivers eight shots in a single. <laughs> the Jaeger. Yeah. Jaeger bombs. Jaeger boys. Did they not have someone in siege called um, Jaeger? Yeah, they do. Yeah. Uh, they can't hold out much longer. It's up to you to land the killing blow. This is taking a bit too long now, isn't it? He's going, he's going for a complete ram, ram maneuver. He's going ram in speed. We got the idea of what to do now. Can we move to a different game? Going ludicrous speed. The battle is won. I don't know about that game, man. 
I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't seem it. It doesn't quite seem as good as when they first shoot it. To be honest. Yeah, it looks a bit down and down. They always like show it. No, it looks better than it is. The first time I see it, I was really hyped for it, but no, it looks okay. But it's a bit long, quite a long tr um, presentation for it. Releasing 2019. Sign up for the, the chance to play earlier. Uh, we did about a year ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> up for that. I looked on their website. Yeah. If you want to find that you back, you to read it. Turn up again. Yeah. You signed up for Xbox, did you sign? Yeah, I did. So you know, I could click on it at the time. To the digital space. That's what I signed up for anyway, so it's cool. This show. Oh, was this Did game, we this weird fucking game, came again Who last is it? year then. It's like a psychological thriller game. Trans. For... Oh. It's a hobbit. Hello, everyone. My name oh, is Sam. Oh, Sam. Vision. Though we're known for our film content, we're also avid gamers. And the opportunity to partner with Ubisoft was something we had to be a part of. Mm -hmm. Ubi. Ubisoft. Ubi. He says Ubisoft. We say Ubisoft. <laughs> yes, Ubi. Together. We combine the storytelling techniques of film Doesn't matter how you say it though. Activity of video games, enabling us to create this unique, deeply immersive world that, with a dark and unsettling narrative. Have you ever dreamed of entering some else's consciousness? Head. <laughs> you Exploring want to slap his ass? Thoughts and most intimate secrets. Slap it. In transference, in transference, we're bringing. Get the polish out quickly. No. You want to lick his ass? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> polish his bald head. Into a chilling new dimension. He probably does. <laughs> Well, lick his own head. Uh, <laughs> That's why he's got a beard, because he's bald. I mean, this looks this pretty decent, but it is a VR game, so platforms. pretty much we not really going to be able to cover the secrets hiding in this mind-bending psychological oh, thriller. Mind. I've got nothing against VR. I've got nothing against VR, but I just can't afford one of those headsets, man. This is it's like they're really expensive. Yeah. Like they're overpriced, man. Yeah, they are. And it's a gimmick as well. It's it's a gimmick. I don't see that. It's like three D was a gimmick. It's exactly the same with VR. It will go out. It will go out of fashion. No one really cares about it. You're gonna see here real soon, okay? Just hold still. Don't move, please. This is People say that Peter Jackson. What in the chat? No, not in chat. Oh, um, yeah. Yes, people say, is that Peter Jackson? And then, you know, this rig's a bit yeah, cumbersome, but that's always the way with these new prototypes, huh? Is it Peter Jackson? I like games like this, but I'm not buying VR headsets. But, so. Yeah, I don't want to... This is probably why they're just, making it. Just be oh, these games. I know things haven't been so great. I can't stand God. I'm not, I'm not a VR fan, to be honest. It's still right, but there's never been an actual, like, AAA VR game, is there, really? No. They're all like they're all like little indie titles or just like half assed game. titles. Or patched into existing games. But all that is gonna change. There's nothing worse than having a massive he he headset on your head as well. <laughs> all of our hard work reverse the process. All of our sacrifices. It's not this that's my gift. It's a bit blurry as well. Us. Help me, help me. Yeah, it's what everyone says. I mean I thought I Everyone says the same, it's all blurry and stuff. Dad? Why are you doing this? I love you. It's not fun. I love you with all of my heart. Oh, get this shit off the stage. Honestly, it's crap. Escape into a corrupted mud. Escape a corrupted mud. Oh, available, fall 2018. Yeah. In February, good boy. No February. No February, I'm disappointed. Space. I have waited so long. What is this? this. We will Star Wars ripoff. No man sky. <laughs> <laughs> well, half of it is. What are we waiting for? Let's get out there. It looks like Go something like that. Can do. <laughs> you be so this I'm space game. It's Toronto. It's the Toronto people now. The Legion is growing. 
There aren't enough of us. We need to find help from every planet in Atlas. Fuck that. Have any ideas, Sly? Um, no, no idea. Um, people seem to be saying Starlink. No. Nope. That's Bethesda, isn't it? The more of us there are, the stronger each of us is. Of course it is. Exactly. Exactly. It's close to it. You must the hell is this? My Some shitty fucking shite. Oh, mate, you can actually buy the things that actually go on you. What the hell was that? You see that? Oh, they're Rats still doing toys for the game. Yeah, like, it looked like... Amiibo shit. It looked like... It is. You plug it onto your PS4 controller. Oh, what no, the hell? that's fucking embarrassing, that is. Oh, Let me get my goodness. toy down. You look, it was part of the trailer. Look at that. What the fuck? Why would they put that in the game? I don't know. Who the fuck's got on your controller? Star. It's basically it in the way. you buy. Oh, it's called Starlink. Starlink. Oh, I was right. Sorry. He, he was right. Battle for Atlas. Fuck that. Boring. So really, to be good at the game, you got to go and buy some I was thinking of a Bethesda one, game called the similar the name, but... ...on Starlink Battle for Atlas. Last year, revealed well, our Mudra Starship innovation so to the world, and showed Ooh. you how players could... The thing really took my interest is Division and the Skull and Bones, but that's about it. Do you know what? We're excited to show you what the, the depth These conferences the have been quite weak ass. The only one I've, like, the only one I've really enjoyed is Xbox, by far. We're going to take you on a bit, journey. Bit 400 light years huh? away from Earth. They have a bit wank. star system. They have. Discover exotic planets. Big time. This is a No Man's Sky for <laughs> Ubisoft. And forge oh, your lions. They're gonna have a go at it. Upgrade your pilots. Just put something on the stage that we actually care about, mate. Your game's probably gonna sell like two copies. Save Atlas from the nah, pretty sell one now, but. <laughs> <laughs> or get a free key to give to streamers and then it will die out after a week. Oh, back in a minute. It will do. This game will slowly lose the player base. It's like... You should buy things on top of it, don't you? Yeah. You've got to buy shit. You've got to buy loads of toys for it. you got to buy toys on top of it. Yeah. You don't have to buy toys for it. Serious. Could use a little help here. And put them in your... You see how big they are? Can you hear me? Yeah, well. What the fuck? That sounded like Star Fox. You hear that? It does sound a bit like it clearly won't be with it. There's a Star Fox. There is a Star Fox. Oh, oh in the game? Oh, it is Star Fox. You're a battle roll. Right. You're a battle roll! Why would they have Star Fox in it? What Nintendo owned this? Nintendo had got a publishing deal with Ubisoft, didn't they? Yeah. They're about They talk. They've got a lot of tie ins with Ubisoft. Hello. Hello. Like, who wants to buy that toy and put it in your control? I think we might. Star Fox control. Yeah. Oh, he did do a battle roll. <laughs> hello, everyone. Hello. Oh, it's just Eve. It's Eve. Get him on. Hey, hello, hello, hello everybody. Star Fox in Starlink. Battle for Atlas. It sounds gay, uh, doesn't it? Eve, get him on. Eve, what are you doing? It's uh, amazing. <laughs> pretty much, Eve is the head. Ever of, since yeah. I started um, working Ubisoft. on Starlink, I wanted to invite Fox and his crew. It's maybe not the, the kind of here it is. Star Fox but. on Super Nintendo was the first 3D game I've ever played, and I'll never forget that. Star Fox on so for me, this moment NES. Is a dream. Or was it SNES? SNES. This uh, dream no, N64. Was only made possible thanks to our long relationship with Nintendo. <laughs> we can't wait to play Fox. On we the can't Nintendo. wait to play Fox. Fox. I would like to give you <laughs> a special thanks. To a dear friend, with the yeah, so cornist, so cornist lemon. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Miyamoto. Miyamoto, oh yeah. Oh Miyamoto, he's everywhere Miyamoto. He's so really hyped up in here. Mind you, isn't Miyamoto pretty much Nintendo? He Hello, is Mr. Nintendo. Yeah. Dude, is, isn't, isn't oh my he, God. Mr. Nintendo? Miyamoto. Isn't huh? It is. Any, I'm bad, did I miss anything good? 
well, um, Starlink. They had um, um they had um bloody um. They have the toys. No, they have the toys on stage. No, um, they had um Fox or some, you know, Star Fox in it. Do you like it? It's a little toy. He is Mr. Nintendo. It's a little toy. So thank you very much. He's crying. So it it is uh, actually. Um, is it? A vessel that no. has been created by the team, and they, they would be so happy. Mind you, this man doesn't have to do anything. He's pretty much just money out of the Mario. Them. Yeah. Thank Ross, you. when Hayden gets older, you can say this is the man that pretty much introduced him to Nintendo. And Mario. Yeah. Mm. Me and Mario. He is the man. He's the man. Well, Hayden loves my Hayden loves Mario. Oh, I was about to phone you in, bro. Chuck in here. Hello, what? Thank you, Mr. Miyamoto. See you soon. Thank you, Eve. For everyone at E3, please be sure to come by the Ubisoft booth. Get off the stage, mate. We don't care about your game. Even though it's got Star Fox in it. I'm going to love to play this game. I'm going to plug all my toys on my controller and play. You can sign up for... What's that? Oh, nothing. It just says learn more. Thank you. Oh, okay. I don't care if it's got Star Fox and I don't care who's in it, I ain't getting it. It's boring. It's gonna that bore me to tears. Check out starlinggame.com to pre order the game right after the conference. You can pre order right now. Thank you so much. Oh after the conference. And have a great E3. Pre order now, even though you don't want to. Just put something good on. Thank you. Don't know what it says. Uh Assassin's Creed? No. For Honor? No idea. Please not For Honor 2, the first one was wank. For Honor? I thought, that I thought he died. <laughs> I thought he was dead in the water. He's free now, I think. Is he free? No wonder. It's trash. <laughs> they made it free? I think they did. Tournament organizers and all of oh, I heard it's going to go free. We had to. Probably, I heard it's, it's going to go free soon. If it's free, we can all fucking play it. <laughs> Hello, I'm Roman Campos Oyola, creative director. Because the player base was crap. And they had I no played the beta. I think I played the beta and I, thought, I never actually bought the game. Release of heroes. Release of heroes. And new training tools. We would not be here without well, the rumor is it should go free to play. Yeah, that's what I heard. Probably it, it's, it's probably you got to go free to play because there's no other reason for it to sell it anymore. It's probably like got Thank such you. a shit player base. It needs to, to get people playing it. It's got no choice but, but to go free, is it? Speak louder than words, right? Well, save as ours. In celebration of E3, we are inviting new players to join. So, yeah. If you haven't played yeah. for honor yet, now is your chance. Okay. Starting today. He's gonna say free, right? And until next Monday. We are giving away oh, no. PC starter edition on new play. Oh. Download it this week. Oh, I can get it for free. And it's yeah. yours for free. Yeah, but it's only for PC for people. <laughs> oh. Well, fuck that. I was getting quite. That, that's yeah, not on all. the PC, mate. Mate, because mate. Yeah. Oh. We are now ready to expand our world. Expand our balls. Mate, no one cares, mate. You just you just shafted all the console players. You just stuck a right dick up my arsehole. <laughs> as far as you can. Well, Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Does it mean free as in you get to keep it? You get to, no, I think uh, it's only free for that period, I think. No, it says you get to keep it if you download it between these dates or something. Really? Oh, is that it? Really? That's terrible, man. What about us console players? They never seem to do on the console, though. Not that I care, because the game's shit, but... Probably just gimmick, yeah, gimmick in it. I remember it when, it when it was first announced, I was really hyped for it when it very first got announced. Um, yeah, yeah. But then when the gameplay came out, it was just... You just get ganked all the time on that game. Mm. Yeah, fucked up. You just get teamed up, like, you get like three players on one, you're fucked. Like, you don't have any chance whatsoever. Oh, 
Honestly, I can't leave Ubisoft even still putting money in for Honor. What a waste of money. They are, aren't they? They're, they're, they obviously really want to succeed, don't they? You watch Mario's going to come out the other side in a minute. Not in the dust. <laughs> Mario. Yeah. In the storm crowd. With his own, with his, with his own uh, equipment. Mario's going to appear out of nowhere. But uh, you, one of your friends loves this game, don't you, Si? Oh, he loves it. He's like, every day. He's not playing like He'll be like, he'll be like, so hyped. Marching fire. Mm -hmm. Really? What a waste of time. Who actually plays it? Like one person play it online? I don't know how many people... No, I don't know if there's no way to check the numbers anymore. Is there a way to check the numbers? Or what? Yeah, just type it into Google, yes. Warriors of the what, uh, for the player count? Yeah. Foot each other, but fail to account. establish order. Steam charts. Amid the chaos, uh, oh. 24 hour peak, 3,631 players. Is that, is that all? <laughs> four new fighters. That's 24 hours ago. Uh, oh, and playing an hour ago, 3,000 players. That's what I mean, that's how weak the game is, and they're still shoving content into it. But this update oh, he'll love it. not be oh, complete he'll without love answering a huge request from our community. A new 4v4 multiplayer mode fulfilling the what? classic medieval fantasy. You know what it is? Oh, mate, get off the Castle stage. Siege. You're as prepared as so the last please, guy that was on there. to introduce you to this new mode. Breach. <laughs> oh. Breach. Good, my good. In game 4K. In game 4K footage. Yeah, but well, we can't actually see 4K, can we? <laughs> we can't. Not on this stream, I can't. We can't actually see what this is. In game 4K balls. I was never into 4 I just thought it was 4 <laughs> it, had, it, it had great potential, <laughs> but it was just so poorly done. Everyone, everyone thought in the chat, you probably said new player mode, bitch. <laughs> new. <laughs> <laughs> so what they said in the chat. Yeah, they probably just said bitch, new player mode. Welcome to beach. <laughs> Welcome to the beach. Oh mate, this is terrible. It's boring. <laughs> just, I mean, well, on, on, honestly, what, what are they trying to do? They got three thousand people player count. They actually trying to boost the numbers because it's not going to work. Uh, yeah, I think they are trying to get more players to come on board. With it, really. It's just not going to work. though. what a waste of money putting all this effort that Ubisoft could have put in. Hang on a minute, they could have put this effort into Beyond Good and Evil Two. <laughs> yeah. Don't let games. Well, what a waste. Go away, they the games. The game's still in the pre-alpha. They could have spent some more money oh. in that. Oosh. Welcome Instead, to they support a game that's got basically 3,000 players. I haven't got many players at all. Not except for on the Xbox, Reese, who loves this game. He'll be playing it, he still plays it this very day. Every day he plays it. Every day? Huh, I don't know what the hype, I honestly don't get the hype for it, I really don't. Got some, or the crew too? Is it? Yeah, it was alright. The yeah. player, but no, no. Hi everyone, I'm Delphine Dosset, it was okay for a short period, but it, it quite stale. In just a few days, Did you like it, Ross? Will be yours. It wasn't too bad. I played it. It wasn't too bad. Um, but it's again, I agree with Simon. It's probably it boring really quickly. Oh, I did. I played for about, I might say, getting give or take an hour and a half. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I, it's, it's only so much racing you can do, isn't there? On PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. I like the beginning bit where it switched between different perspectives. Like, I thought it was going to be like, more like that. Right now. So you'll be ready to hit the road as soon as it starts. From all of us at I so you can pre-download pre it with 24. Oh, it's an open beta now. Preload the open beta. For the 24? It's two weeks away. So, what, what, when the open beta launches? Yeah. Nah, it's boring. I won't go back into it. 
Well, we don't. Uh, there's more to this. Well, it depends what they've added to the OP. I'm sure they've added some stuff, probably. I mean, graphically, it was quite good. But this does not gonna. This does not gonna touch the Horizon 4, is it? I've been in the middle of the game for a while. Of the Hawaii, you see this one, you've got three vehicles in there. Land, sea, and air. That's the only difference. Big difference, actually. No, I'm not free down, free down early. 24th, 21st, 24th, they said. So when you can play for free? I might give it another go. I might give it another gear. Yeah, I might give it another go if they've added some stuff to it. So. It's free, isn't it? So you try it, so. My nephew loves the crew, the first one. The quest is okay. That's about it, really. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Open beta. Play for free on June 21st. Preload open beta. Can you preload it now? Is that that? Now? Yeah, you can preload it now. 21st. Obviously, it's a, a 200 gig game. There's <laughs> <laughs> only like 20 gig when I downloaded it. Uh, They've obviously added so much content. It's like 250 gig now. 2000 gig. That's why they want you to pre. That's why they want you to pre download it. You've got to start now. It's like 90 gig or something. Do you know what? I feel so sorry for him. I just don't feel sorry for him. Ubisoft, or however you want to pronounce the name, they, every Assassin's Creed game gets leaked before it and, and ever gets a shown. Every single time. Is it going to Greece or Rome? Greece. Greece. It's Greece. It's Greece. And the only reason it got leaked is because they they gave some merchandise to a retailer. <laughs> so it's their fault, really. It's basically their fault, yeah. They actually gave, you know, they actually there. gave like some pre-order, some pre-order merchandise to a retailer, and it had the logo of the I Assassin's Creed with the um, the I'm Greek family. kind of helmet in there. You know, the Rome North Gladiator helmet inside the logo. You wait, you see the logo, you'll see what I mean. I just, I just think they're making too many Assassin's Creed games. They need to give it a break. I do. They only just made the last one. The last one hasn't been out that long. You carry the blade of Leonidas. Mm. Act like it. Mm. Oh, Andy, since you're going to uh, you again, you have to get space on these games, don't you? Well, if I can get there, because the train's so expensive. As you ride your odyssey across the mountains oh. and the seas, remember. When is your game out? September, isn't it? September, aren't it? Yeah. Oh, it's September, is it? Yeah. I probably won't peak going anyway, the trains are expensive. Trains are expensive, I looked into it, it's about 300 or something. Cool. Yeah, I know. Isn't, it, isn't that when your babe is Isn't it when that your babe's Yeah, it's a week after though, so. <sighs> kind of close, but. Yeah. But I probably won't I go. might be cutting it a bit too close, Andy. Yeah, might not I go because of that <laughs> <laughs> reason. And go to um, Comic Con in October instead. Thank you, thank you. I'm Jonathan Small, the one in London of Assassin's yeah. Creed Odyssey. Oh. Assassin's Creed Odyssey oh. is more than just an adventure. Because Comic Con's it fun. It truly is a role-playing journey. You will explore. You just not? Online, no, I just, I just have a look about and one of the most play a few games and then come home. Played like I played Tekken Five last time. Ancient Greece. The golden age oh, of Athens saw the rise of the democracy. Yeah, it was, modern it was, medicine. You could play it there. Revolutionary art and Western philosophy, but it was also yeah. a time of war. You could do dominant, a dominant. devastating conflict between Sparta and Athens. The Peloponnesian War divided the Greek world and changed mm. the course of history. In this world of contrast <laughs> and opportunity, this land shaped by the gods rages a battle between on. and chaos. This is this where is your adventure down. begins. You, a simple mercenary. Most people still be going for the first one. On I haven't played um, their origins. Yet. Ones, the origins, yeah, I've played origins either. 
Yeah, it's not expensive. Uh, no. desperately needs. Yeah, uh, I just. Our teams in Quebec. I burnt out with Assassin's Creed games. Assassin's Creed have made too many of them. They need to have like a few years break. Well, they did have a year break from. They did have a year break from the other. Yeah, but a, a more more than a year. They need to have like three year break or something. Yeah, yeah it makes sense. An RPG in which you will not build up the hype again for the new one or something. Yeah, Origins probably Maybe supposed, to be, supposed, supposed to be good though. Shaped by your actions and choices. Yeah, Origins did review quite well, but um, and the first choice you'll make at the start of the game is to choose your character. Just cause four. I want to play that. One. That game, like, I made a big, I made a video like explosion montage out of it. I'd do it again. Kind of crash on PC this one, didn't for the game. No, it was it was playing on PlayStation. You the Did it crash? Of a legendary oh, hero sure. and bear his mysterious weapon. Oh, okay. Button. Don't do. Your turn. Now need a spear. You're old enough now. My father's spear holds a certain burden, but. You are ready. Think of Leonidas. He had great courage. And he made a great sacrifice. You share in his blood and the strength he possessed. The broken spear of Leonidas gives you access to powerful range, combat, and stealth abilities that you can unleash on your enemies. This is this is butter. <laughs> I think Assassin's Creed would have be cool if it was like an all open world uh, multiplayer game where everyone was like you could have like multiple human real players in the game. And for the first time, we have deeply changed the way we tell stories. Leaf says so, 100. What you have it as? You can now choose 150,000 people watching like never before. <laughs> Perhaps mm. I was thinner both in way So tears. So tell me, were you able to resolve the situation without bloodshed? Mm. The rebel had guards. I relieved them. Mm. The graphics just always look you really kind of not dated but just sort of not current if you know what I mean on Assassin's you. Creed games. I wasn't even thinking about think? him to be honest. They always and just look a bit I don't know. They never seem to push the boundaries, do you know what I mean? There is a better old time to me, but... He should be halfway to Mykonos by now. Oh, really? So, I just don't think they do, but... Loose. Are you Last sure Assassin's Creed game I played was I'm probably sure like... You was probably Syndicate, I reckon. Are like on water. Played Black Flag, that's a lot. Things last one I played. But they can become devastating tidal waves well, last one you played, Sai. Over the next few days, you can experience this for yourself here uh, at E3 in our yeah. playable demo. And for you at home, here's a full gameplay sequence mm. of Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Thank you, have a great evening. Yeah, man. Head to the store to get your legendary figure. Woo. Oh, pre-order rubbish. Who cares? Yes, you can pre-order that figure. It's got to be done, isn't it? No. <laughs> That's how they make their money. <laughs> I'm fuck off, thank you. They charge way too Mate, much. Mate, the, the water physics. Terrible. Fantastic. Looks pretty good to me. They're all about their water physics. But it's probably it's probably better than it's probably better than Origins. I prefer the setting of this one to Origins. Hmm. It's all right. And I And you can stream this, mate. If, if I have time. <laughs> like, what makes me laugh? You know, in these video, in these like gameplay, they always always walk their characters and they do that slow pan. Who plays like that? Sometimes I look around. <laughs> Everyone just fucking runs like that all the time. No one walks like that. Ah, 
do one, do they? When, when, do you, when do you play and anyone walks, and they just sprint their character everywhere. And they skip, like, <laughs> they'll skip this part, won't they? Read me the note again. Eagle bearing mystios. Stream this. A lot of people would watch this. Have you ever found the Thirteen game? Was it dead? Yeah. That all developers ceased on it because of a lawsuit done by so they had to stop. They're not making anything else for the game. All the DLC was meant to come out for it. It stopped. It's that's it. Ceased production. Uh, Is it really? Because of a lawsuit. Mm -hmm. Do you reckon it'll ever go back active again? I guess with the lawsuits over, maybe. Uh, if they if they appeal it, if they've got the money to go to appeal, they can re resume. Who's who's who's, who's, who's put a, who's put a law against them then? That didn't take long. What uh, sue them? Yeah, or sue yeah, whatever. So, uh, it was a director from the very first one years ago yeah, claiming that yeah, but, he yeah, but surely, the surely they must have got surely they must have got the rights to the game, or the rights to the films, because they they obviously called it Friday the Thirteenth. It's a copyright lawsuit. And the lawsuit will block Friday the Thirteenth the game getting any new content. That's terrible, man. Uh, would I read it? Last summer, Victor Miller, scriptwriter of the original Friday the Thirteenth film, decided the rights were his, and he set out to reclaim them. Oh god. So that's pretty much the part of our team at the moment. I want to play this. That'll, 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 prob that'll, that'll probably never cap. They'll probably never bother doing any DLC for it anyway now. That'll probably be it's it. There's been servers into the game. That never happened yeah, now, will it? Although with this content will be effective, we remain committed to launching dedicated servers. Oh, so they could do that. Oh, perhaps, I suppose that's, oh, perhaps that's they, perhaps they will content. sort the content out eventually after the lawsuit. Perhaps they will then. No, uh, they got done. Deal with that first. Okay, they're pixelated now. No. Look at this, man. This this, this drives me nuts. Holy How many arrows is he gonna take to kill? He's already had one in his arm, but didn't die. Now he's been smacked the fuck out of, and he's still getting up. Because he's a fucking super soldier. Look. Oh, the Spartan kick. Oosh, oosh. Oh, it also, it's, I'm not sexist, but it's like the Year of Women. Have you noticed? Every game has a playable woman character now. Yeah. Yeah, like, I know. A lot of guys probably like. Jesus, what a finish. You really should have left me alone. You should have left me alone, you little bastard. I never get that idea. You know, where you can carry the dead bodies, right? Who the fuck ever carries dead bodies and hides them? No, I just leave it. <laughs> what if one does? I don't get okay. why you say anyone, everyone, who carries them and hides them? I know. What a waste of a silly... Who the fuck does that? I don't know. Everyone just goes, right, you, you're dead, you're dead, just stay there. You know what I mean? Like, who, who cares? <laughs> I never understood why they implemented that into games, it's like no one plays like that. No one does. No one plays like they do in no the Anthem game. Like no, 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 no. No, no one carries the dead body and throws it in the water or hides it behind a hay bed or anything, do they? It's like, they just kill the person that's done Only if I'm absolutely bored after this book. Yeah, or you want to go complete stealth, but I mean, even then, they don't need to. I'm looking for Kira. Oh, we get it. Yeah, let's what move do on. you want with okay. her? Oh, please announce Splinter Cell or something. Well, do we know that and, 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 you know, come to work out? One last thing. Yeah. I don't think you're going to see it, my friend. I think it, this is the, kind of the closing stage. It's such a, it's such a shame because I don't understand. Splinter Cell is such a well thought out franchise. Like, why have they never brought that back for years? I just don't understand it. They keep bringing like, the Assassin's Creed games out, but like, they drop these off for a couple of years and bring out something different. I think we all can't wait for a Splinter Cell game. There's been too long, too much time on each game at the moment. It's been like 10 minutes per slot. But we're outnumbered. And the so obviously, it's been on quite a while. It's been on for about an hour and a half that stream. Hour and a half, yeah, perhaps ten. Mm. Warrior, but this way, I'll start for Sony's one, which I'm not. But um. Oh, ow! Couldn't do Sony's one. Right, the... No, I couldn't. I think I can get out work tomorrow, mine. perhaps, but to I've got work tomorrow. I can't. No, fuck that. No, you know how it was. I'll chat. I'll just check the highlights, and then it's Nintendo's. I don't watch Nintendo's, really. Oh. <laughs> you don't watch what Nintendo's? No, I don't see it because no. it's always like all over the place. I only watch it because I own a Switch. 
Yeah, yeah, it's the invented it. Invested interest. There's like that huge battle going. Plus, it's more. I, I, I like to see what they've announced as well because for Hayden as well, he loves like Nintendo stuff in general. So it's also nice we know what I can get that we can both play. Yeah. You know what I mean? I definitely exactly want to get the Mario Tennis game. It's exactly the same as Origin. This is exactly the same. No different the mechanics. Well, it's pretty much just um, copy and paste over. If you skin it. I own. I wonder if you can go and fight. You, you, you don't have any enemies in the background fighting. I wonder if you can but go and the fight them. Or whether there's a, like, or whether there's an invisible wall where you can't actually fight them. I own for honor. Or the NPCs. And they're, and they're just there for the sake of it. Yeah. Your life ends today. I own for honor now. You can pre-order. I do think much of that, to be honest. You can pre-order um this game already on bloody you play. Yeah, you will be able to straight away. They put it out straight away. They know they know people will. There's certain fans that will just pre-order it straight away. Oh, they do it as you speak. Yes, they do. You can pre-order stuff on the bottom that. There's always those fans out there that will just pre-order. Like Man. as soon as the game and it's announced, they put they they pre-order it. You don't even need a pre-order nowadays. They don't run out of anything. No, not really. Used to be like, like used to be in the like other, used, yeah, years, yeah, used to, years ago. You used to have to pre-order as soon as you heard it about it, but now you don't. It used to be like if they only held a certain amount of uh, copies. Or something. Is that it? I just registered for all those. Like if you stay, if you, Simon, if you stay behind in the Ubisoft stream, they're going to do a um, half an hour slot of Division 2. Uh, yeah, catch it. That's where. That bloody beginning bit. Oh, that's it. Was that what the fuck? Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining I'm back us. again. And thanks to everyone watching from home. To our teams, it's an honor to work with some of the best in the world. Congratulations on the great show. Congratulations. I want no splinter cell then. No, told you. Sorry, man. No splinter cell. Oh, man. I am, uh, Maybe they might. Fucking, fucking some some other company used to buy splinter cell rights. Just buy it. I am an optimistic guy. And I am particularly excited but about the future of technology and the positive role. Sorry, I just accent. His accent makes me laugh. Our society. He's French. To create this game, okay, download the beta. we need to work mm, even more openly with you, the gamers. Because we know when we do that together, everything gets better. So have a great history. Thank you very, very much. Very disappointing. The only game I thought was remotely interesting in that is Division 2. 